Hi, this is Arslan. I'm back again with a new project on modeling, drawing and installation of helical pile inside the hypoplastic soil. So on the left, you can see the installation of the pile under cyclic loading, while on the right, you can see the, uh, the pile drawing inside the hypoplastic clay, clay using BUMAT subroutine. The installation is done using UMAT subroutine. Uh, for different void ratio for a multi-layer soil in case of different void ratio and each layer have different void ratio while on the right the visual mat is uh, the, the, the installation is simulated using a single void ratio OCR uh, for hypoplastic clay conditions so let me go to the detail of this uh, simulation you know, basically what is hypoplastic in order to explain the concept of hypoplastic I would like to refer you to the <laughs> this, this this presentation this presentation is openly available at soilmodels.com by David Mason, which is the author of this subroutine code and this model. So, hypoplasticity is basically an alternative to elastoplastic approach in case of typically Mohr Coulomb model or Cam plasticity model or Drucker period model. We use uh, a conservative like elastoplastic model, uh, elastoplastic approach in order to model the, uh, in order to predict the behavior of the soil. Well, we know that soil is neither elastic neither plastic. In this hyperplastic model, they have used a single rate equation, uh, basically non-linear state equation based on uh, the asymptotics, based on the concept of asymptotic states. So, what are these asymptotic states? So, let me explain this in a simple example. So, this asymptote you can see over here that when sigma is in this, we can define a two different uh, state state. So. When the stress reaches a certain maximum stage, the stiffness becomes zero and soil is assumed to be failed. So, when uh, in this uh, diagram, you can see that when sigma, when stress is equal to zero and the loading strain is greater than zero, then the stiffness is basically is equal to elastic modulus. And when sigma is equal to sigma max, then the stiffness, the slope become linear and the stiffness is equal to zero. So, sigma, so the stress is, the soil is assumed to be uh, get failed. So this is basically the concept of the uh, simple concept of the uh, hypoplastic clay, uh, clay soil. In detail, you can refer to this presentation available at soilmodel.com. Now, in the first stage, we are going to model the driving stage, the driven st uh, the pile driving stage. For this, I have assumed the, um, the pile to be a single helix shift pile, and the soil is modeled. Uh, you can see. It's a half uh, symmetry of the pile uh, of the soil is modeled. Uh, it is basically a half symmetric and symmetric boundary conditions were used at, at this uh, across this y plane. And for the material, four different uh, four different stages or four different layer of material were constructed. But you can change the material. In this case, I have used only single uh, soil properties or all of the. Uh, material these user materials these are the user material for this umat and detail of this material for the detail of material you can refer to this website web dot tour so this parameter one refer to critical state frictional angle shifts of trust uh, effective strain all of these parameters and their values are available on this website you can download it you can check the website for further details and uh, the similarly uh, in the first stage, you need to apply the. Uh, let me explain it through the. Uh, it's basically a dynamic explicit step. You can use a high st uh, even high st type step based on uh, based on your required strain rate, and uh, in the case of the load, we need to apply the first thing, which is very important. It, it will be a multi-stage analysis. In the first stage. So basically, I have used the CEL approach, and in this CEL approach, I have used the Eulerian based concept in order to model the soil, well, Lagrangian model uh, based model uh, in order to simulate the soil behavior. And this soil behavior, you can check it over here. In the visualization, you can see the formation of soil bulb. Yes, you can see the formation of the soil bulb. As the pile drives down into the, uh, so this is the formation of the this is the formation of the soil bulb, and uh, if I if I can visualize the change in um, 
the void ratio over this so this is the change in the void ratio so initial void ratio is set as in the subroutine the initial void ratio is set as 0 0.7392 so this is the initial void ratio you can set even the OCR as well so this is the change in void ratio as the pile goes down into the soil this is the change in the effective stress this is, this is basically 8 8 is the basically the uh, the pore water uh, let me so parameter 8 is basically the pore water pressure uh, pore water pressure and parameter 9 is basically the effective stress so this is the model that we have simulated the driving of the pile using CEL approach in the next phase I have simulated the as you can see over here I have simulated the uh, the pile drive the installation of the pile inside under the cyclic load so this will be a multi-stage analysis in which first the gravity load is applied the second step is the consolidation step and the third step is basically the cyclic load driven step so in this case uh, we have applied the uh, and also the intergranular stiffness concept is also used you can see over here the stiffness is going to increase as the cyclic load is applied with respect to time so the, you can see over here if I can plot the results um, So uh, I need to plot only the I am not going to plot all the step just the loading step so gravity step and the consolidation step must be high must be like suppressed and then I'm going to apply it so this is the variation so you can see this red portion is the variation of the constant load so this red portion is the constant cyclic load while this this while this uh, purple portion is the cyclic degradation or increase in stiffness or increase in displacement with this it's, it's a sort of degradation with respect to time so this is basically simulated using intergranular concepts and these are the final results that uh, you can find or uh, this is the final results If you want to download this file, you need to go to arsalanmaa.com and at arsalan at, at arsalan.com you can contact us. You can just write your name, email address, and the name of the project which will involve with installation of file in hypoplastic soil. Soil. The price of the project project is US dollar 220 and it's available openly for download it's available for download after uh, paying the service fees for detail of all, all of the project you can visit design and simulation project and you will check the list of all the pro available project that we have completed so thank you very much I hope to see you soon with uh, some exciting projects bye bye